something again I want to bring up for this thing about about you know you being the boss. You're you're, you're the one that can control everything. You're the one. No, I the dad. Please. Just really, just I'm really, completely. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get you upset. I'm trying no, to. No, but you. I am upset now. I'm Please. completely upset. One, the media is going to have a freaking field day with this. No, no. I wasn't even. Gonna, I wasn't listen, even supposed to take this. L- listen, let me speak they're, they're, for a second, Dad. I let everybody it. talk. Okay. They're not releasing it. Well, I hope not. I'll keep okay. saying whatever I have to about the police, okay, here, so they hold don't let it second. go. Can someone let me? Come on. Casey, hold on, sweetheart. Settle down, baby. Nobody's letting me speak. You want me to talk? Then. All right. Give uh, me I'll listen to three you. seconds to see go, something. Sweetheart. Oh my goodness! Is this really? happening. Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, uh, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. Surprise, I hope you guys are enjoying getting a surprise video. I still have one coming up for you guys tomorrow on Friday, which is indeed Veterans Day. So, so much love out there to our veterans. Thank you so much for your sacrifice and thank you to the family members of veterans. Because of your love and support, that is what gives these veterans strength or gave them strength to do what they did. I want to send some extra love to our favorite veteran, which is Papa. Yes, he retired from the military after 31 years and he loved every single bit of it. So in today's video, you guys, oh my gosh, when I saw this ad, when I, my friend sent it to me the day before yesterday, I was like, this can't be for real. This cannot be for real, but it is for real. So Casey Anthony is doing a new docu-series on Peacock, a three part that is going to come out at the end of the month. So just a tiny rundown if you guys don't know, which I'm sure you all do. And the trial of Casey slash Kaylee was about almost 12 years ago now. So the Casey Anthony trial went on in 2011. I still remember it like it was yesterday because my mother-in-law and the whole entire family, we would crowd around the television, chairs everywhere, people sitting on the floor and watch the trial together. I mean, my mother-in-law and my husband's family who used to live in Orlando, they actually went out and searched for Kaylee. So it, the whole entire family was very invested in this story and the passing of little Kaylee. And most of the world was shocked and devastated when Casey Anthony was found not guilty. As to the charge of first degree murder, verdict at the count one, leave the jury find the defendant not guilty. <laughs> Just knew that it was obvious that Casey Anthony, in all of our opinions, was lying. Now, I know that there is a group out there that believes that she is innocent and that maybe it was her father or this Zanny the Nanny and that whole situation. On Monday, June 9th, 2008, between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m., I, Casey Anthony, took my daughter, Kaylee Marie Anthony, to her nanny's apartment. Zenaida Fernandez hyphen Gonzalez has watched her for the past year and a half to two years. However, after reaching the apartment, I realized that neither Zenaida, Kaylee, or either of her two roommates were home. You said that the person that you dropped Kaylee with doesn't even exist. Because, oh, look, they can't find her on the Florida database. 
but most of us believe that she definitely had something to do with it and a lot of us have different stories on what we think exactly happened. After she was found not guilty, she was deemed the most hated woman in America and most of us have never forgotten about her and it's crazy because to me she looks the exact same, just a little bit older. Like if you saw her in public, you would recognize that's her. And a couple years ago, she had a run-in with the police in South Florida, which was another like, I can't believe she's still living down there after all of this. According to the body cam footage from the police with Casey Anthony, she called them, she was at a bar doing what some people would say Casey does best, which is party, but no. She was at the bar and another woman who used to be Casey Anthony's friend, okay? They allegedly were messing with the same guy who was a sergeant. First time we're seeing body cam footage of cops responding to Casey Anthony's 911 call. I'm still wet. I got a drink thrown at me. This girl has been harassing me for a while. The woman in the fedora is Casey Anthony. The notorious mom who was acquitted 10 years ago for the murder of her daughter Kaylee. We the jury find the defendant not guilty. Now she's back in the news and in a familiar setting, a bar. She's telling a cop that the altercation at the bar in Florida was over a guy. And why did she throw a drink at you? Like what happened? Um, I dated the same person for a couple years. Malcolm Allison, who was with your department, one of your sergeants. Whether they're together or not together, she got upset that he had texted me. I let her know that he had, and she came inside and threw a drink at me. Do you know her name? Her name is Thelma If there's one thing a lot of us feel, it is that Casey Anthony is a phenomenal liar. Like, she can lie on the spot. Like, she, you can ask her a question she's never been asked before, and she can come up with an answer just all over the place. And... They attributed that in the trial to the fact that she had to lie her whole entire childhood. I don't know about any of that. I got my feelings about a bunch of different things. But nevertheless, who really knows what happened with this chick with the drink in the bar? But what surprised a lot of us was that she was just out and about in South Florida in bars, dating cops, fighting with people because how was she the most hated woman in America? Maybe online, but maybe not in real life. Now, something I found out while researching the details of this Peacock docu-series that's coming out at the end of the month, Casey Anthony from one media source, allegedly, and by the way, you guys, please go and do all your own research, form your own opinions, just don't show hate to anybody anywhere, no, not even Casey Anthony. It is said that Casey Anthony got paid from one media source $200,000 back after the trial or during the trial for photos. So she signed over her rights to photos of like her and her daughter to this media source and they paid her $200,000. And this is a way that allegedly TV shows and producers and stuff like that get around the question, did you pay Casey Anthony for doing this interview? They can say, no, absolutely not. We didn't pay her a dime. She's not paid to do the interview. But on the back burner, she can turn over photos and release the rights to them and she can get paid for that. You know what I mean? So people were really upset to find out she got paid $200,000 before. And that's only one media source that we allegedly know about. This Peacock interview, there's no way in the world that I believe she's doing this for free. Now, according to this tiny little preview, she's going to tell like her side of the story. Casey interview, the ABC marker, soft sticks. Why talk to me now when you're not getting creative control? Is it gonna be true? No, probably not, but we're still gonna watch it. Now, another thing that I thought was super interesting was Nancy Grace did an interview with TMZ about this Peacock docu-series or documentary with Casey Anthony, and Nancy Grace said that they reached out to her to do the interviewing. And she said she turned it down because they told her that she couldn't ask any questions she wanted. And I would like to point out that I was contacted by this group when the director was still working on it to have a sit down with Totten Mom Casey Anthony under these conditions. And I said, absolutely not. Because when I learned I couldn't ask the questions I wanted, I couldn't control what was happening, no way. 
because she's going to do exactly what we predict. She's going to have softball questions and lie her way through it with no one to test her, such as under cross-examination. And this is a way for her to get fame, notoriety, as if she needed any more, and probably money. Now, Peacock may say, oh, we're not paying for an interview. Again, BS. You guys have heard of licensing fees for photos. Sure, we're not going to pay you for your interview, but I'll pay you 20 grand for a picture of Kelly. She needs to be put on the spot. She needs to be asked the tough questions and they would not allow her to have her own creative control, which, oh man, that would have been so good. With Nancy Grace interviewing her, oh my gosh, it would have been so heated. Like, I mean, I'm trying to tell you, the ratings would have been off the charts. I wonder if Casey Anthony refused to be interviewed by her. I would have to think so. Cause I mean, come on, the pressure of Nancy Grace, Nancy Grace don't give two cares. Okay. She's about to ask you what we all want to know, which then makes me wonder what are they going to ask her? Are they going to be little powder puff questions? Is it going to be a waste of our time? I know one thing, if the first episode sucks, I don't know if I'm going to watch the other ones. Like the first one, they better come out with the good questions and put her under the pressure. Ugh. And for those of y'all that watched the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, if you think that was a mess, I'm telling you what, this Casey Anthony trial was right up there with it. So what do you guys think? Are you going to watch it? Are you going to watch it? If you're going to watch it, let me know. If it's good, if there's some juicy meat and potatoes, maybe we'll do a reaction every day together and we'll talk about it because this is going to be her first like interview like this, like this, supposedly. We'll see. There's a lot of people mad about it, just like they were about the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, docuseries. But Peacock is going full steam ahead. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Other than that, I will see y'all tomorrow here for our true crime video of the week. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>